These are the four new iPhone 13 models, which seemed like a minor update, until we learned about the big gains that Apple has made in battery life. But what about charging these iPhones? How long does it take? Hey guys, Vic here with Phone Arena and we have all four iPhones completely drained for this test. Now Apple still only supports 20 watt charging speeds, so we have to see how long it takes to charge up these iPhones. And then we'll talk a bit about Android flagships and their charging speeds, MagSafe and so on. So as we speak, I am plugging the phones in to start this test and I will be checking the charge level often to see the progression of the charge. So I mentioned that Apple uses larger batteries this year. Starting with the iPhone 13 mini, it now comes with a 2406 mAh battery. The 13 this year has a 3227 mAh battery versus a 3095 mAh battery on the Pro. And finally, the big boy iPhone 13 Pro Max comes with the biggest battery ever on an iPhone with a massive 4,352 mAh battery, the biggest ever on an iPhone. So naturally, you would expect that bigger battery to charge up a bit slower than the others. So let's see if that's the case. And just two minutes after we started charging, all iPhones have now booted and I will just quickly make sure to have the optimized battery charging option off. That setting is turned on by default and it basically slows down the charge towards the end of the cycle where most stress is occurring on the battery and it helps long term battery health but it also slows down the charging and in our case we are looking for the fastest charging times so we have to turn it off. We have our first checkup just 5 minutes into the test where we already have about 8% on pretty much all iPhones and we'll keep on checking regularly so let's quickly fast forward to 10 minutes into the test and we now have 18% readings on the battery meter only the Pro model trails a bit behind but all iPhones seem to be charging at about the same rate so far despite the battery size differences. So let's take a peek 15 minutes into the test I often don't have much time to charge during the day and it's good to know what a quick 15 minute top up can do and in our case we have 29% on the mini and the iPhone 13 while the Pro and Pro Max are very slightly behind at 27%. So we'll now give them a bit more time to juice up and our next check happens exactly 30 minutes since the beginning of this test and we have the following results. iPhone 13 mini is at 58%, iPhone 13 has 56%, the Pro now has 55 and the Pro Max is charged up to 53%. So we are starting to see some differences in the charging speeds, but they are so tiny. The nearly twice as large battery in the Pro Max is charging about as fast as the others. And that's very, very interesting. Okay, our next checkup happens 45 minutes into the test and we already have some solid charge on each phone. The iPhone 13 mini has topped up to 78%, the regular 13 has reached 74%, the 13 Pro now has stand at 76 and the iPhone 13 Pro Max is slightly behind. So next up, already an hour since the beginning of this test and by this time most other phones would have charged up completely but not iPhones. Apple is extra conservative with charging speeds and for a good reason. An exploding iPhone battery could slow down sales in a big way and it doesn't want to take that risk. But let's take a look at the numbers. One hour in and the mini has 88%, the 13 is at 84, the iPhone 13 Pro is now at 86 and finally the Pro Max has reached 85%. So yes, we are approaching the finish line and interestingly, after you hit about 80% battery level, the charge rate slows down to just 5 watts. This is done to preserve battery health and those last few percentage points unfortunately take extra long time and are extra painful. 1 hour and 15 minutes into the test, we do another checkup and we're almost done and all four are moving at about the same pace. And finally, exactly 1 hour and 38 minutes since the start of the test, we hit the 100% mark, first surprisingly on the iPhone 13 Pro, so let's flip it over, indicating that this phone is done. So it takes just a couple more minutes and quite strangely, the iPhone 13 mini and iPhone 13 Pro Max, the two opposites, finish at the same time, taking 1 hour and 40 minutes for a full charge. Now interestingly the iPhone 13 seems stuck in those final percentage points for whatever reason 
and we had to wait and wait until finally it hit the 100% mark about 1 hour and 55 minutes since the beginning of the test. We guess there was some sort of an issue here and it should take a bit shorter for the full charge but that's what we got on this test. And what about MagSafe, some of you may be wondering. So these iPhones still support wireless charging, still support MagSafe with the same magnets and we have not tested it yet on all models but where we did it took 2 hours and 45 minutes to charge up if you connect the MagSafe adapter to a 20 watt Apple charger which gets you presumably best speeds and that's a full hour longer than wired charging which is quite the difference so wireless charging is still quite a bit slower. You might have expected that 15 watt wireless charging would be faster but it really is quite slow. And if you just have an older Qi wireless charger lying around that would take just a half an hour more as it charges for about 3 hours and 15 minutes. Not a huge difference really and I know I wouldn't rush to spend extra dollars on a MagSafe charger if I already had a perfectly good Qi charger at home. So anyway this is how long it takes to charge the iPhone 13 family and once again they are so much slower than other phones like Xiaomi and OnePlus and Oppo that charge fully in less than 30 minutes. But our guess is that Apple is just afraid to implement those faster charging, risk a battery blowing up somewhere and endangering its millions of sales. So what do you want to see us test next? Let me know in the comments. My name is Vic and thanks for sticking with us. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you in the next one.